good morning everyone welcome to lost things gaming it's horizon 5 and it's the force fun challenge all around drifter and driving the san sylvia or sylvia yeah spec r win a street race five ultimate drift skills and five stars of drift zones i've got a tune on it because this car is not fun to handle generally and i do have an easy win street race blueprint to make life a little bit easier so details are on screen there so own and drive it right let's go yeah drift machine this is a tune i just had on my car i haven't sort of put this on especially it's just what i've got on me so that's the own and drive bit and win the street race yeah i've got a custom blueprint for you so i'm just having to flick through easy street yeah why not So street racing, it's so easy, but you can't fail. Just get to the end. You're the only one racing. I've just turned off all opponents and basically just drive to the end. That's all you need to do. So going around there, I did do a quick cut because you don't need to see about three minutes of racing just to say, oh, just drive around the end towards the end and don't actually worry about opponents because there are none. So through the smoke there and that's that bit out of the way that's pretty straightforward you're back into the game and i've got to get those ultimate drift skills those was it five ultimate drift skills so what i'll do is yeah i'll see the pop up here for sylvia and where shall i go let's go over to buy the stadium so there's a drift zone up there so let's go over there and do some stuff like that so let's have a go. Ultimate drift skills. I have turned traction stability and ABS off. So let's have a go with this. So drifter, you know what? I'm not going to get an ultimate drift skill in a drift zone. I'm not that good. I'm really not. So screw that. Let's go do a bit of cross country. Let's just drift around. Awesome e-drift. Yeah, I need to get some natural drift skills. So I don't think the e-drift skills count for this. So what am I doing? Wreckage, e-drift. Yeah, this is not good, is it? So, okay, that's a drift now. Right, now I'm getting into it. Awesome. Can we get an ultimate? Oh, no, 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 no. Right, I'll get there. This is the hardest part of the falls font this week for me. Ultimate drift, yep. Good, good, good. Can I get another one? Ultimate drift. Yeah, now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Yep. But normally, with the ultimate drift, I think you have to kind of bank it and then start again. Because I don't think you can just go ultimate drift, ultimate drift, ultimate drift. You know, within a, a skill sequence, within a skill chain. Definitely the most difficult part for this, for me, admittedly. Oh, there you go, shift into action, cool. So that's that done. Must have counted some in the background. And next. You have to get five stars at drift zones. I just happen to have one here. I should definitely be able to get three stars on each. So drifty, drifty round. Shouldn't be overly an issue. Can't remember what the target was on this, but this is one of those ones you just take multiple goes at it anyway. And if it takes you two goes, great. If it takes you three, if it takes you five, it doesn't matter so much. So basically, drifty, drifty round. It's 120. I can't remember. You can see why I was never going to get an ultimate drift skill within this drift zone or any other, to be perfectly fair. So I mean, I think it was. So anyway, so that's definitely done if it is 120. Giving it a little bit more drifty just for good measure. And what am I getting at the end there? 148. Okay, cool. So that is a free start. So I need to make a run back. I need two stars. And that will work 
without a problem. So drifty drifty again. That's a bit better run because it's a little bit wet on the road now. So round round round. So all I need to do is get two stars this way and that'll be a force from complete. A little bit all over the place, but never mind. Yeah, not doing too bad on that. So, where am I at? 120? Yeah, that's three stars anyway, I reckon. So, just get to the end now. Oh, there you go. That's where the game crashed. Good old reliable Forza. Yeah. So I went back in and let's have another go at this bit. And the reason why I'm editing it this way rather than just like ignoring the fact it crashed is the game seems to have remembered I'd already banked three stars here. So I only have to do another two. So rather than just record it again and just pretend nothing happened, the game is stable when it re really isn't. But for now, I'll show you that when it crashes and go back in. And this is my run after a game reboot. And if it didn't count half of that challenge, I'd have to do this twice. But this is my first run. When I get to the end, it will give me a pop up telling me Force of Fun's been complete. So that's something else I learned that the game can actually remember mid challenge completions for stuff like this. Whether it does it all the time, I don't know, but it's definitely possible to do. So, 145 there. That's well over three stars, not a problem. So, as I said, pop-up time. Let's have a look. All round drift to complete. All good. So, that's that. Until next time, thank you for watching. Take it easy, and I'm glad we're done with the drifting.